everyone, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel. Yes, to address the elephant in the room, I did cut my hair. It looks kind of crazy, a little bit bad. Um, I really don't know how I feel. It only looks good when it's curled. This is like shamefully day four curls <laughs> because I haven't washed my hair. I'm lazy. Um, but yeah. Today's look is going to be this super glowy bronzed summer makeup tutorial. I mean, you guys probably can't tell, but this is really, really bronzed. Like in person, it looks super dark, glowy. Like my entire cheeks are just bling. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be like a go-to summer look of mine. If you wanna know how to get it, just keep watching. Yeah, um, let's just get started. So we're starting off with the eyebrows. I never film my eyebrows on camera, so this is kind of weird for me, but I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and this is in dark brown, and I'm just gonna do like really light, natural hair strokes. Take my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper in medium to dark and I just kind of gel my brows in an upward direction to get them a little bit more volume. Now I'm gonna fight them all. Next I'm just going to take my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is in the shade Light 12 and I'm going to carve out my brows. But I'm going to carve them out like really softly instead of like the that layer of concealer that a lot of girls do so I just start by putting a dot under both eyes brows and then I take super flat definer brush and I smudge it out it's getting really dark outside for some reason I guess there really are clouds in Texas um, but I take my Becca Backlight Priming Filter, it's the purple one, because I want my filter, or my primer to be like moisturizing, but also give me a glow. Next, I usually take um, my NARS soft matte complete concealer and I put it on like my pimples because I'm breaking out a lot and it's really bad and this covers it up but it's a little bit too light for me to put over my foundation so I just put it under my foundation I need to get a new shade of this I take it on a real techniques concealer brush and I just put it all over my pimples Taking their time right behind my back And I'm talking to myself at night Because I can't forget back and This is a really great spot concealer But you do need to um, moisturize before Because it does clean on to all your Ow! Because it does clean on to dry patches and then I'm going to take my NARS Sugar Glow Foundation and I'm just going to put it like in the center of my face because perimeters don't really need foundation in my opinion. So yeah, I just pour a little out onto my finger and I dab it in all the places that I need foundation. I blend it out with this Morphe sponge. I love this sponge so much. Like I think it's my new favorite. It's replaced my Real Technique sponge. Um, now I'm just gonna powder my face. I'm taking a bit of my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, and I just need to powder around my nose because this is where my foundation creases the most. I don't powder under my eyes because I don't put any concealer there because I like the dead eye bag look, you know? So I just powder powder where I tend to get oily, so in my T-zone, on my forehead, on my chin. The sun is coming back out. Oh my god. 
does anyone else like wear headbands that make their ears hurt because this like my ears hurt so bad um and then another thing i've been liking to do been doing recently is i take my essence pure nude highlighter and i set my whole face with it i take like a really big brush and i just like kind of set my entire face and it gives me a real like a radiant finish all right because we want this to be a beautiful bronzy natural natural look I'm going to be taking my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I really want to get the perfume, but I'm going to use this to contour my cheeks. Just make this whole look a little more monochromatic. I'm gonna dust a little bit on my eyes. Like on my eyelids. And then I'm going to take this fluffy brush and use it to contour my nose just the tiniest bit. From the queen of England to the hounds of hell. Okay. And we really, we really want to get bronzed. I'm gonna do something that I literally just discovered. This is my Betty Luminizer highlight from the ball, and I never use this because, um, hello, that's a little dark and a little orange. But I take it on this stippling brush from BH Cosmetics, and I just like hit it a couple times. And then I tap it off because there's a lot of pigment and I just like sweep it where I would usually put my blush and it gives me like a really pretty bronzy glow. Like so it can be a little much sometimes and I usually like to dust it down my nose because I think it's like a pretty finished like I don't know if you can tell but I put a little bit too much here and I just literally take a big powder brush brush and I blend it all out like if you're looking to be sun kissed and glowing this is what you do like no joke and I just kind of dust it all over the perimeters of my face like legitimately everywhere because it makes you look so radiant and pretty and I even take a tiny bit on my finger and I just dust it on the palette and if I catch it coming back my way, now I'm gonna say it's so pretty and then I just blend it up I just curl my lashes off camera. My hair is such a mess. Oh my god. Um, but I'ma just um, apply my mascara. This is Benefit Roller Lash. What mascara do I ever use besides from this? And I'm gonna do two coats and hopefully it looks fun. You can't really tell the difference when I put mascara on just because my eyelashes are so short and I need help growing them out. But I'm not going to apply any falsies. Although I could do individuals. I'm just too lazy and I'm not really going anywhere after this. I just have to go to like a band practice thing. Um, yeah, so to finish this look off, we're going to apply highlighter. Honestly, at this point, my cheeks are so glowy that I don't even need highlight. But what I like to do recently, I've been taking Becca Champagne Pop for any like golden toned highlight that looks freaking so amazing in the summer. And I dab it on a little Morphe M510 and I put it like right 
like here on my cheeks like just this tiny circle like right here and I'll take it like all the way up there I put it like right here so when you smile it looks like super radiant and pretty and you don't get highlight everywhere like right there just like at the very highest point of your cheek and then I always do the nose because can't go anywhere without nose highlight and if you really want just a little brow bone pop I've recently been so obsessed with brow bone highlight and then you douse your face in setting spray because you want this makeup to last through the freaking heat oh god I inhaled it I don't like the spray of this. I feel like it's too inconsistent. I don't know where it's all going. But you basically want your entire face to be soaking wet because you want it to all melt into your skin because we put a lot of powder products on. And usually all I do is I'll take oop, a bit of Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm or Buxom Lip Gloss because summer is pop it on the lips and voila you're done I feel like there's not a big difference between this look and like every other look I've done recently on this channel but um, if you guys want to see like more dramatic looks and less natural everyday type of things then I will I will do so I feel like no one ever watches my YouTube videos anymore but it's whatever um, yeah, so, my hair is so gross, I really need to curl it some more before I go. That concludes this video, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out and listening to me ramble. If you have any other video suggestions, please leave them down below. I'm gonna try to film a lot this summer. Um, yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. I love you guys, and bye. Oh god.